What's up, everybody? My name is Musky, and welcome to Digital Musk. We're going to be playing more uh, Death and Taxes. So, nothing too crazy yet. We've just been uh, going through the days. Uh, boss man upstairs, but... Ooh, who's this? Who dad is? Is taking my job? So, nothing too crazy has been going on. We've just been... Just been doing the job, doing our thing. Put my money away. What do we got? What, is, what happened here? All survived in a plane crash due to skillful, eff skillful efforts of a pilot. Local politician died after being struck by a car. Police have not yet ruled out a deliberate hit. Black holes set to end all life. Okay. Crypt of Decay announced a new concert tour to Walmart and beyond. All right. Grim, have you looked outside today? It rains. It has been raining for hours. Appropriate to accompany the despondent. I can't read. Despondence within me. Well, here are some rules for you. Quota for the day. Three humans have to die. Another day, another death. Fate. All right. Three have to die. And there are five here. Cool. Frankie Alves. 43, a tour manager. Frankie is a tour manager for an extreme metal band from the outskirts of Cosmopolis City. So far, they've organized three concert tours across the sea to and around Walmart, all of which have been canceled midway through, mostly due to the capriciousness of the singer. Damn it, I'll have to look that up. All right, it means sudden changes in mood, so uh, that's not all that bad. Ron Marcus, 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 19, Shepard. Ron went on a backpacking trip around the world to discover themselves. After a year of being broke, homeless, and unhappy, they found themselves back at home, where they decided to take up some nice and quiet sheep herding. Okay, still nothing nuts. Ashley Dale, 53, train conductor. Choo choo, all aboard the best train ever, whichever train Ashley's conducting. They constantly broadcast uplifting messages and jokes, brightening the passengers' days. I have a feeling that none of these guys are going to have any any issues at all. Matthias Uliam, 18, student. It has been said that Matthias talks too much. However, they themselves think they may not be talking enough at all. Space radiation is their passion, and they are endlessly fascinated by black holes. Black holes set to end all life. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna save you, cause you're only 18. You got plenty of time to go, man. Bryce Mallard, eight, uh, 30, photographer. Bryce started their photography career by taking tasteful nudes, but soon got bored and decided to turn towards Nature porno- oh. Nature photography instead. They stalk the countryside for glorious vistas and sometimes even aim their camera at birds and wildlife. Grim, I'm watching you. You should mark this profile to live. Fate. Okay. I don't get it. Why? Grim, I'm watching you. You should- Why though? Why this one? What's- Why is this one different? Also, I really thought because it said he's like taking tasteful nudes, I thought that was gonna like I thought that was going a whole different direction instead of photography. So, um, yeah, about that. Uh, okay, fine. If you say so, man, you should mark this profile to live. We'll make this one live. And also this guy, because he's the scientist, and apparently black holes are an issue right now. Uh, but I have to, uh, that's kind of sucks. But three people gotta die. Sorry. Y'all didn't do anything. I mean, yeah, sucks, but damn's the rules, man. I'm the Grim Reaper. I just reap souls, that's all I do. I uh, just, uh, you know, stack these all nice and 
nice and neat looking, you know? There we go. Another day, another... Whatever the fuck these things are. Beep. Yeah. Alright. Shiny. Cool. Uh, oh, I guess I can put my phone down in here. Very nice. Okay, hold up. Keep you there. We'll put you down here. Oh, nice. Okay. So I can organize all my stuff. I'll just keep all my money over here. Oops. There we go. Keep my pen in here. All right. Send them up. There you go. All righty. Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. Ooh, thank you. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I, oh, I did oh, not you. expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position imagine the possibilities so what i i would manage other grim reapers is that what i would do meow. Meow. yes anyway i am quite busy tonight so you can go until tomorrow grim all right sounds good boss man all good to go let's see so we got these we got this stuff down here i made what a bunch of money how can me humble and not at all adventurous self assist you today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff changed. Cactus! Alright. Uh. It's a radio. I'll buy a radio. Shiver me timbers. Tis a tale most. I dare not even recall the details. But since ye wish to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown, and I saw this in an elevator. Went in, tore it out, and made a run for it. <laughs> the device has immense power. Ye turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. Some might call it music. Uh, clothing. Okay, so I can get bottom clothing. I'll save that. I don't need to get clothing. Although, maybe it'll... No, I'll save my money. Who knows? Maybe I'll get... I'll we'll get more stuff. So we'll save on that for now. What this is? What this is? Mortimer's. Alright. Save the day. Ooh. I can change the music up. I like it. Oh. I just make it completely quiet. No, no, no. Where's that? There it is. Yeah. I like that one. All right. Morning, Grim. Good you are paying attention. After all, we cannot allow workers to doze off or become complacent. Else mistakes may sneak into the workflow pipeline. Order for the day. Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a science background. I hope you're enjoying the routine. Fate. All right, man. What do we got? Vast advances being made in research of reusable fuel cells. Researchers accredit a young talent, a ta young talent involved in special project. All right, a high quality photo of an extremely rare bird wins first prize at a national nature photography co competition or pornography competition, whichever one you think about. Uh, Crypt of Decay, cancel tour after sudden death of the manager. Come one, come all, ace pilots to host a dazzling air show. All right. Let's pull you out. I can put you, put you back in there. Shit. What did he say? What do I need to do? Uh, two humans have to die. Spare any humans. Spare any humans with science backgrounds. All right. 
cool beans, man. I got a bunch of them today. Okay. No, yeah, I'm aware I haven't marked anything. This thing is kind of like in the way. Let's move you back. Can I? Oops. Oh, right, yeah, let's move you. Move you over there. All right. Can it, like, does it turn? No. Does it? Okay. Oh, what are these names? Chandraleka May, 21, student. Chandraleka studies a lot and has perfect grades at school, but still finds time to volunteer at the local soup kitchen as much as possible. They sometimes even buy extra soup materials with their own money, making a lot of disadvantaged groups a lot more happy. Isn't that nice? Nothing about science, so... Probably gonna die. Uh, Kevin Mason, 35, Air Force Captain. Kevin born and raised at the McIntyre Air Base. Loves the thrill of flying planes, intense combat situations. Their family has a history of military service. Kevin is dedicated to their spouse and seven-year-old child, rarely taking any time for themselves. Okay. Damien is a geomorphologist researching a mysterious new series of mineral formations appearing mostly in the tundra regions. This phenomena exhibits a shimmer and they're often shaped like human arms. Damien is on the verge of a breakthrough. So I gotta save any scientist. Any science background. So we'll save him. Okay, Stephen lives and breathes statistics. They work as a statistical consultant at several companies and give lectures at the university. Every time they get drunk, they start ranting about the misuse of P values. Yeah, me too, man. Every time I drink, it just those P values really just get on my nerves. Just really, really gotta, really gotta get those P values in line. You know, I have no idea what P values are. Henry Birch, 43, literary critic. When the adolescent Henry poked a fellow student with a pen, they realized from, the mo from that moment onwards that their best friend will only be found on the pages of books, as these friends cannot be directly poked with pens. Interesting. Karen Alpert, 40, homemaker. Karen is a busybody who goes around claiming to be the most informed, boasting how they've succeeded on their own merit alone, while demanding everything go their way no matter the circumstances. They feel they've been given a priority above others, and any feeling of perceived disrespect leads them into furious frenzy. Isn't that funny? And I, it's, a, it's a funny name you'd give somebody who, uh, who acts like that. So I gotta have all science backgrounds have to live. Come on. Give me the give me the marker. Give me the marker. Thank you. So you're gonna live. Alright. So you're good. You can live. And then I need to kill the two humans. Uh and I think that's the only one with a science background. I just gotta kill two people. I might as well, I mean I might as well this is this is weird. It's really like makes you makes you think about your uh, your morals and stuff, but obviously, uh, this really makes you think about your morals and stuff. And I know this is gonna look bad when I'm sitting here just kind of killing people for essentially being a Karen and a uh, and a critic. And this dude, this dude just this dude's just living his best life. You know, he just really really upset about p values. Like he's fine. He's fine. Air Force captain, super invested in their family, like, perfect grades, like, come on. Come on. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Sorry, critic. Sorry, Karen. It's just, it's just my job. Just my job. See boss man. What does he got? What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim, 
five days you have been with us, how does it feel to make the difficult choices? Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I still feel awful. Every moment is living hell. I hate this job. I mean, it's, it's, it's a job. It's just, it's just a job, man. I just, just mark some papers. It's all is good. It, though? I can almost imagine what a normal, basic, dreadful, everyday job would feel like. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Uh, is there another way? Perhaps I... Um, no, never mind. Mm. I have not found a way around the tradition. And I have been here a long time. I'm sure you have, man. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you may? But you hand out the rules and make me do the choices. Can't worry too much if this is what has to be done. I'm not happy about the situation. No. Uh... I mean, if this is what has to be done, I don't know. Because where are you getting your information from? So no, I'm not happy Yet about the you situation. Have no opportunity to elicit a change. It may sound unfair, but it is not. I guess, man. Like, where are you getting your information from? Because, like, why do they have to die? You know. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. You know what you're doing, but like... That's the thing though. Who's his boss? Who's the one who's saying that people actually have to die? Because all these people seem to be in normal situations. I'm not reaping souls because they died. I'm causing them to die then allowing us to then reap their souls. So there's not really like, I'm not a grim reaper. I'm just killing people. So... Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Uh, why haven't I seen any underage profiles? What's the basis for the profiles? Is there a point system why do all the profiles refer to people as they i mean gender neutral bro come on get with it oh <clears throat> not at all uh so there's no point systems don't they all influence the world in many ways the humans can't actually affect anything you don't sound too sure about that mm, i am quite so it is it predetermined? What about free will? Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk, a result of their own deeds and decisions. It's not, though. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation but that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. Anything else? Mm, not yet, though. Like, you said middle management, man. I'm gonna work my way up. I'm, a, I'm watching you. Uh, why aren't there any uh, underage? The children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Are there many offices or departments? Countless. And they all have Reapers working in them? Myriad. Really? Close enough. Anything else? All right, what about animals? Do they get a department? Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. Doggy heaven, man. And kitty heaven. Even plants. Yes, there is a department for plants. Do not ask about the plant department. <laughs> Anything else? What about the unliving? Things, buildings, stuff? Technically, uh, kind of, I guess. Ruins are like a type of dead. 
but then again, they often feel so alive. Hmm, I must ponder. This topic is a bit too abstract for now. Let us table it. Ah, that's the department I'm gonna run when I'm in, when I hit upper management. Anything else? Uh, sure. Why do all profiles refer to people's names? An then? astute observation. You see, Grim, our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. So no gender information. Minimal. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. Excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. Anything else? Uh, that's all I can think of. Right. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. All right. That was good. That was a good one. So we got, uh, oh, let's just end the day for now. So yeah, there's some stuff going on. This is getting deeper, which is, I like it. It's like, it starts off nice and slow. You're just like, here's some papers, you know, go through your whole thing. And then it starts to go on and on. And there's more stuff that goes on with it. Uh, I'm probably going to buy some more stuff here. There's more down here too. Uh, I'm gonna buy some stuff in the next episode, but uh, for now I'm gonna end it here. But yeah, there's definitely some stuff going on, and I'm really excited to find out exactly what that is, but uh, we'll have to wait for the next episode for that. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you like this, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm not used to having this, this microphone here right now. Like, subscribe for more content, and I will see you later.